My senior prank came into existence solely because I was petty. See, the high school I went to for my senior year was the most backwoods, bullshit, country bumpkin kind of high school I've ever been to. And I've been to four. Like, they had rules for which stairs you could go up or down on. You got an entire new set of classes every quarter. And to top it all off, senior year was kind of the year that I just gave up. I didn't really care what anybody thought of me, because I was just done. Anyways, picture this. It's free period. Every day, the entire school got one hour for free period where you could do whatever you wanted. That was the time to have lunch, do activities, go to clubs, things like that. So I'm sitting at lunch. I'm enjoying myself. I am enjoying my one break of the day. And then all of a sudden over the intercom, I hear, all seniors must report to the gym. All seniors must report to the gym. Y'all had to take my one fucking break. Okay, great. And we weren't allowed to eat in the gym. So I had to throw out the rest of my lunch and go to gym. Anyway, senior class arrives at the gym. We're all sat there, kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Not really sure what's happening. And then the principal walks out. And I think, oh, great. This is going to be one of those don't do drugs at prom announcements, isn't it? That's what I had to lose my lunch for. Fuck me. So the principal comes out and goes, all right, boys and girls, I have something very important I need to talk to you about. And I was like, I'm sure you think you do. I'm sure it's not going to be as important as you think it is, but carry on. He goes, I know it's senior year. It's the year to have fun. It's the year to relax and be yourselves. I understand that. But this school has been prank free for 10 years, and we're going to keep it that way. Do I make myself clear? And I'm set up in the bleachers like, really? You took away my free period for this. To address a problem you haven't had for 10 years. You done fucked up. Now you're having a prank this year, motherfucker. And you'd think that'd be the end of it. No. No, he kept us for 30 fucking minutes. Talking about how we as students should have pride in our school and we should protect our school from the ravages of prankers. You for real? For serious, my guy? What the fuck? I spaced out, like, five minutes after he told us we weren't allowed to prank, and that's what the assembly was about. I just checked the fuck out and started plotting a prank, because fuck that guy. <laughs> See, I'd never pulled off a school prank, but I needed to do something that, one, couldn't be traced back to me, two, would keep people talking about it for a while, three, wasn't destructive enough to warrant police involvement, and four, was free, because I was a broke bitch. So when the assembly ended, I went back to lunch, hopefully to get some more food, because I was annoyed that my food had been ruined. And as I was in the lunch line, I saw ketchup packets. And suddenly, an idea. Probably guessed from the story title, my prank involved ketchup. <laughs> and at the time, I was still femme presenting, so I had access to the women's restroom. So as quickly and discreetly as I possibly could, I grabbed a shit ton of ketchup packets. And then I went around to each of the girls' toilets and folded ketchup packets and put them under the seats so when people sat on them, it would shoot ketchup at the back of your knees. And I thought, that's great. Nobody gets hurt. The worst that'll happen is you have, like, a stain you have to get out in the wash and everyone will think it's funny. Like, perfect. That's not what happened. Yeah, no, people were pissed. Like, really pissed. It was... It didn't go over as well as I thought it would. I didn't realize how poorly the prank had been received until the next day at lunch, I realized there weren't any ketchup packets in the lunch line. And I thought, that's a bit odd, but you know, maybe they just ran out. Maybe they were waiting for a new shipment. Until an announcement came over the intercom. <laughs> the vice principal came over the intercom and said, attention students, you're probably wondering why there aren't any ketchup packets in the lunch line. And I thought, yes, yes I am. Please elaborate. And she continued on to say, there was a malicious attack on the girls' bathrooms yesterday. And until the perpetrator comes forth, there will be no more ketchup in this school. I was stunned. I sat there at my table looking at my sad ketchupless hot dog and thought, this means war. So I whipped out my phone and texted my mom, you're not going to believe what just went down. Side note, I had told my mom I was pulling the senior prank, and she thought it was hilarious. <laughs> she responded with, what's wrong? What happened? And I said, they took away the ketchup. They confiscated the ketchup. The ketchup is now contraband, and I am pissed. And my mom was like, yeah, that seems like a bit of an overreaction. They probably shouldn't punish the whole school for the acts of one person, but, you know, what are you gonna do? And I was like, this means war. I have to enact my revenge. She was like, well, what do you want to do? There's not much else you can do at this point except confess. And I was like, no. I need to make a statement. I need to make this burn as much as them taking away my ketchup has burned me. 
And then I was hit with the most brilliant idea. I texted her again and I said, Mom, I know what I want to do. And she said, do tell. And I said, I want to write in giant letters made of ketchup, catch me if you can, on the sidewalk in front of the school. And you know what my mother's response to that was? You should spell it K-E-T-C-H, like ketchup. Take my credit card and go to Walmart. So I did.